guys. Welcome to another digital plan with me. So we are going to be planning out the week of the 22nd through the 28th. I am using my bright rainbow kit this week. Honestly, this kit is a little outside of my comfort zone. I typically do not use super bright colors like this, but stay tuned until the end because this spread actually turned out really, really cute, I feel. So I do have the kit that I used today for this plan with me linked in the description box down below if you would like to check it out. So I am filming this Friday evening. It is almost nine o'clock and you guys, I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired. I have been working non-stop on my new meal planner, which just launched yesterday. So if you have not checked that video out, definitely do that. It was a true labor of love. I will never forget. I think it was like technically Tuesday morning, Monday night. Andrew came downstairs. It was three in the morning. I did not even realize like that it was that late or that early, however you want to say it. Um, and I just like looked up and he was just looking at me with this like look of like, are you serious? <laughs> Why are you still awake? And I just, I could not stop working on this meal planner. I was just totally obsessed with working on it and I loved how it was coming together. And I don't know, I just got that spark of creativity and I um, rode the wave as they say you get that creativity wave and you just ride it so I ended up working like I put in so many hours into that meal planner and I used it to meal plan tonight I'm filming my day in the life today which is gonna go up Monday and you guys will see that process I meal planned in the planner and filmed it for my day in the life so you guys can check out like the planner in action and everything like that and you guys, this is gonna be such a game changer for me. I cannot even tell you, I have been searching for just some sort of like simple system where I can keep all my recipes, I can plan out my meals, I can have my grocery list, I can keep track of my inventory, I can keep track of the staples that our family likes to always have on hand, what our favorite meals are. If I'm planning a birthday party for the girls, I wanted to have a space where I could plan out a menu, figure out how much I need of things, what my shopping list is. Like this meal planner has all of it. And I promise I'm not gonna talk about the meal planner the whole time during this digital plan with me, but that has been my entire life <laughs> this past week. I have just been nonstop working on it. I love how the stickers turned out. I feel like they turned out so stinking cute. So I definitely do want to incorporate sharing our meal plans and grocery lists and things like that grocery hauls into my channel more i feel like it would fit in really well considering i talk about budgeting which the grocery budget is a huge piece of that and then i'm also on weight watchers or what is now known as ww and i'm on a journey to lose over 100 pounds so what i'm eating and what i'm spending on eating are two really big pieces of my channel and so i'm trying to figure out how I want to fit that in. Um, we normally do our grocery shopping on Saturday morning. So I'm kind of thinking of making that just like, you know, filming my way in and then maybe filming like the meal planning process the day before, filming the grocery haul and maybe posting that, I don't know, on Sundays. I don't know. I don't want to like super overload myself or anything like that. I want to make sure I'm staying realistic with my time because I do work full time still and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see. I was thinking about doing like bi-weekly meal plans. That's something that Andrew and I've talked about quite a bit too, because you know, um, the way that we've got our meal plan currently set up is working out really, really well for us. So on Tuesday and Thursday, we have leftovers days. On Friday, we do fish Friday, so we always know we're gonna have salmon or mahi-mahi, something like that. It's usually a lighter, just like fish and rice and veggies, something like that. We'll do shrimp. Um, we'll probably get some fish sticks for the girls. Maddie does like salmon, she'll eat it. Um, Julia, however, she's, that girl's just picky. She's just picky. She's really picky right now. She's going through a, a massive like phase of pickiness and it's been, a little rough but that's okay we'll get through it um i just tell myself now like maddie eats salmon she eats all of her veggies she eats chili like she has she will eat whatever and so and she went through that super like 
I'm only gonna eat mac and cheese and chicken nuggets and things like that phase. Like she went through that. And so I just keep telling myself, Julia will come out on the other side. You know, we're just gonna keep introducing foods to her and things like that, but she'll get it eventually. So anyways, um, so yeah, we do fish Friday on Saturday. That is our eat out day. We always go out to eat after church and things like that. Our church has a little like cafeteria in it as well. So, you know, sometimes we'll like eat there. We haven't done that recently at all. Um, we have in the past though. So that's something I'd like to get back to because I think it's nice to just like eat a meal at church and kind of chat with, you know, some of the, the other families that go there and stuff. Um, and then on Sunday we do B for D, breakfast for dinner. And that is one of our favorite meals. Um, Maddie is obsessed. She always asks for B for D. So we usually do like omelets or pancakes or waffles, or I'll make like a quiche. I make a pretty good quiche. Um, I haven't made one in a really long time, so I'm, I don't have as much time <laughs> for all of that. But Sunday's like a slow day for us and breakfast for dinner is just such an easy dinner. So that's why we do that. And then, so the only meals we have to like really quote unquote plan is on Monday and Wednesday, just two, just two a week. We know what we're doing the rest of the week. So um, we'll look at what we have on hand. We'll look at what's on sale. Even though we do pick up a lot of meat from Costco, there are certain pieces of meat, like chuck roast, for example, is on a great special right now at our local Kroger or Fry's. And so I'll pick up the chuck roast during my grocery haul and stick it in the freezer and we'll have that later on. We're having pork tenderloin this upcoming week because we've had a, like a barbecue pork tenderloin in our freezer for a very long time. So we're gonna eat that and just things like that. So we try to eat what we have on hand, but we only have to really plan for two meals a week. And I think this is gonna really help us keep our grocery budget low and it's gonna save us a lot of time especially in combination with the meal planner. So I share that whole process in my day in the life. So you guys will definitely want to check that out um, when uh, that video goes up this upcoming Monday. But yeah, that is what we do for our meal plan. I feel like it's been working really well. It's very simple. I have definitely noticed our grocery, like our weekly grocery bills have been a lot lower than usual. And that's partially because we purchased a lot from Costco. I just posted my Costco haul, I think this last Tuesday, if you wanna check that out. And then also because, you know, we're only planning like two dinners. We know what we're eating the rest of the week. In our two dinners, we do try to do dinners that will have leftovers. If they don't have leftovers, we'll just have an easy thing. Like we'll make a grilled cheese or just whatever it may be. I've been really loving like crispy chicken um, salad with um, chicken from the air fryer and then I'll just put that on some romaine with like a little bit of cheese and carrots and cucumbers and ranch so good one of my favorite salads to have so um, it's definitely been simplifying our life I definitely feel like it's helping us like this is a breakthrough moment you guys we've been struggling with meal planning and with grocery shopping for a very long time if you guys are not new to this channel you know that <laughs> it's been a very consistent struggle for us so I feel really good that we're kind of coming out the other side finally and it's honestly just taken a lot of trial and error and things like that but so far the the big Costco haul thing is working out really really well this new meal plans working well and now we've got this meal planner tool to use as well which is just amazing so Anyways, that is it for this digital plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and then I will chat with y'all later. Bye.